Hello clarinets, this is going to be the Northwood Fight Song, and uh, a good portion of it is over the break, so you just need to make sure that you're getting these back two keys depressed so you're covering this thumb and the T key, and then when you're playing across the break, you have to make sure you're covering all the holes. So if your fingers are arched or turned, you're not going to cover a hole completely and it could squeak or not make any sound at all. So best thing to do is make sure you're playing with your pads of your fingers. The pad of the finger is this portion right here, which is the biggest part of the finger. The bigger part of the finger will cover the holes easier. Okay, so we're going to play starting in measure six. You have five measures of rest. You don't play those at all. And then we repeat at the end, and you're going to bop the second time through, which means we, we play it short. Uh, and we only do that for the first half of the second time through. And I'll demonstrate. Here's the first time through. so you can see my hands better. When we play across the break, A to C or B flat to C, keep your right hand down. So G, A, and B flat. Actually sound better if we have our right hand down. Sounds a little darker and more in tune. So in measure one, two, three, four, from when you start, you have C, A, D. Instead of doing C, A, lift every finger, you're only gonna lift your left hand. That way you have less fingers to move. You can do the same thing when you go to the B flat. C, B flat, C, B flat. You're gonna keep that right hand down. Okay, so we now have gotten to the very end of the song and we're gonna go back to the repeat and we're gonna bop it. Now here, we go back to normal. Question, can I keep my right hand down on F? No. It changes it too much. G, G sharp, A, and B flat are the only four notes that you would put your right hand down for. Okay, have fun practicing.